This is Nevis. Riley and I spent a week moored in Charlestown, which is the main town on the island. Uh, it was a really nice little spot, very calm, and the mooring was fairly cheap, so that was good. It's been a very calm night with no wind, so I haven't slept much. It's been very hot, even with the air scoop. It's pretty much useless in these conditions, but it's one of those very calm mornings where we're all just sort of spinning around. The sun's about to come up over there. I wonder about the love you can't find And I wonder about the loneliness that's mine I wonder how much going have you got And I wonder about your friends that are not I wonder, I wonder Wonder I do We explored the island, which we found wasn't too touristy, which we really like. Apart from the big resort that they built a few years ago, which we actually ended up having to go to to use the fast Wi-Fi, rather than sitting in a cafe for 24 hours for a video to upload. So yeah. So we've been sneaking into these resorts and like Alana's been uploading movies, we've been using all their internet, swimming, having the odd shower, and we even, in this other island, we even use their gym. How you going? How's the movie going? Is it uploaded? Uh, 98%. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm ready to do it. Jaws. There's a library here. Did you get any complimentary breakfast? No, unfortunately. They asked me for a couple. At night time, these things here actually imitate the local wildlife. So there will be crickets and birds and stuff singing out of those things. Absolutely ridiculous. What have you got yourself there? Clandestine water smuggling operation going on. A bit like some of the orange farmers up off the Murray River there. One thing we love doing is hoisting the sails on anchor or when you're moored and just leaving completely by sail and not having to start the engine. Towards the next island down, Montserrat, uh, we stopped at a tiny little island called Redonda. It's completely uninhabited and apparently really good fishing, so we were lucky enough with the weather to be able to anchor overnight, which you can't usually do. Um, and if the swell didn't wrap around the island the next day, we would have loved to stay for a lot longer. It's a very cool place. So this is the uh, map that we were given. So we're parked about here where it says, moored up, anchored. So, but... As we're coming in, we're looking for a post office and a dock ruins. And there's 
nothing there. I think I can see one brick over there. Yeah, so, there's a few bricks. And it's, it also says, anchoring not recommended and careful of underwater rocks. <laughs> so, so I dove in the water and had to have a swim around and um, Elena had to sort of drop the anchor and I'd say, yep, that's our little patch of sand and, you know, reverse on it and do all that sort of stuff while I was swimming around, keeping an eye on everything. And we think we're all right. So, it's a pretty foreboding looking bit of rock. Mm. What's happening, Elena? I'm just about to jump in the water and go on a bit of a killing spree. I'm hunting lionfish today. So. You're a bit grumpy with the lionfish. No, they're um, a bit of a pest at the moment in the Caribbean and the US, so you're encouraged to kill them. So, I'm going to do my part for the environment today. Uh, good work. Yeah. A weekend of touch, but we can no more. No one like God made from Lego. All the vows, vows. Called your name. Keep your stay clean of me. I've been loved you so many times this week. Those eyes open, girls, I can't forget to fall asleep. The dark seeks. There's no fish. No, that's hardly my fault. Alright. I'll have another go this afternoon. Alright. Well, I'll get the um, pasta on the stove. Yes. Sounds all right. Snapper burger. So, 
Um, what we didn't realise is that they're apparently really good eating, so we're going to give one a go. Uh, we've been told how to prepare it, so I'm going to show you how it's done. Um, there's 13 venomous spines right here that you don't want to get pricked by. Also, three here in the uh, anal fin and one each in the pelvic fins. Uh, so you want to cut those off before you go ahead. Last one's here. All right. So now you can actually treat it just like a normal fish and fillet it as you would, and stick it on a stick it on the pan. So there you go. What do you think? Lionfish? It's really nice. It is? Good. Not much of it though. <laughs> okay, I'm still going to be hungry after this. <laughs> it was pretty small. <laughs> Just the one for me, was it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad you like it. What's it taste like? Whiting. Whiting. Alright. We pulled up anchor and went to leave and it was actually jammed under a rock so Riley jumped in the water and sorted that out and then we could be on our way to Montserrat. We've just arrived in Little Bay just before the sun sets which is lucky enough. And Riley's just jumped in the water to check the anchor. How is it? Yeah, good. Cool. Can't see. 